Hi, we're back again in the city of Houston, hard hit by Hurricane Harvey. And I am with two district officials, Pastor Mish and Pastor Brown and Reuter. And they are part of the response that the district is doing. Um, they've been assessing things. Uh, Pastor Mish, you're actually the district person. Disaster, disaster. relief coordinator, yes. Um, this has been quite a storm. It, it, it has been something different than anything I've worked. This it probably has to go without saying. But this has been something else because the rain just stopped, it parked, and it just rained and rained and rained and rained, record amounts. Um, I remember living in this part of the country and hearing about the record rainfall totals. This one broke it apart. And the, the scope in terms of land mass that is affected by this, uh, from Corpus Christi to oh. Beaumont, yeah, 250 uh, miles, isn't that uh, maybe, like yeah, that. Uh, along the coastline. And just being down in Corpus yesterday, we saw trees that were, they had no leaves. They, it was all gone. There were, there were caravans of bucket uh, trucks going with uh, poles to plant, to, re to reposition electrical lines. Yeah. It's a disaster. Yeah, and here in Houston, it's a water disaster. Yeah, uh, <clears throat> tremendous parts of the city under lots of water. Uh, they are predicting that uh, many, many of the homes, particularly in the south part of the metro area, will be underwater for weeks. Mm -hmm. And you can only imagine what that does to a home. That's yeah. a total disaster at that yeah. point. Yeah. So um, there's lots of work going on, and it's in different stages, right? There's still search and rescue. Yes, there is. Um, there's places that they're saying <coughs> you may not enter. It's still water rising. Yeah. And there's places where already relief work is going on. Yes, yeah. that's right. There are all different stages there. Yeah, in fact, we just came from a place that, that has water in the streets, and we saw airboats going up and down the, the uh, corridors there. Yeah. And, and we were with some young people up in Katy who were um, already mucking out homes. So. Yeah, yeah, and, and I'm really, you mentioned that there are parts of the area that are, that are, you know, relatively in good shape now, and disaster relief is, is sort of centered in those areas because they have the capital and they have the, the manpower and the skill to be able to reach out and begin to help. And, and that's one thing I w would love to have people around the Synod to know is this is going to be a years long process. And we're already beginning to put the infrastructure in place for recovery years into the future. And there will be many, many opportunities for people from around the Synod to come to Houston to be involved in the recovery effort that is of gargantuan proportions. But what we need to set up before that can happen are places for them to go. Yeah. Right. When people are coming in from out and they're not uh, uh, seated in Houston, they don't have a home that's not been touched in Houston, they have to have a place to spend the night. And that isn't going to be available for quite some time. Right. Uh, we're working on it. We're going to get something going. But until that happens, uh, people from out of state, it would be best just to stay seated and wait for the call. Our inclination is to do it right away. And, and that just is going to be frustrating to a lot of people who come down if they come down without a place to stay. Right. And yeah. there, there's not a hotel room no. in the city no. because right. so many have come and so many displaced, right? Yes, yeah. so, that's right. Yeah. Um, and I know that we're working, uh, the Synod Disaster Response uh, is working hand in hand with the Texas District. Who else are you working with? How, how is this sort of coalition? It's going to be a coalition. It has to be, right? Yeah, there are some uh, leading congregations that are really stepping up and taking point on some of the areas here. Uh, Concordia in San Antonio, Pastor Bill Tucker and his wonderful wife, Julie, are are running point and coordinating a number of other congregations to reach out to Port Arthur, Beaumont, Victoria, and then down yeah. into the Coastal yeah. Bend. Yeah. And then we've got uh, Pastor Tim Neekirk and the wonderful people at Salem coalescing uh, congregations up in the northwest part of town, uh, St. John Cyprus, Trinity Klein, uh, Resurrection Spring, and the assets that those congregations can bring. And uh, so they're beginning to uh, uh, set up warehouses with supplies in them. They're talking about remodeling their old gym with showers and cots in it and offices so that this recovery effort can go on for a, for a long period of time. So, so that kind of a service That's a wonderful attitude, spirit. Yeah, that you, is a you know, great on the thing. part of, of the people in this area, 
uh, and that sort of thoughtfulness and care is a r really a remarkable. There's plenty of room for everybody. There's <laughs> to, to yeah. work here. There's there's yeah. a lot of, of of opportunity. Upbring is another agency that's involved, yeah. and they are focusing on children who are, have had to go through this. Which is oh man, uh, just think of the, think of that when you lose everything as a child. This is something that you're going to remember the rest of your life. It, it'll impact you when you're 80 years old, what happens today. So lives are just turned upside down. So we need to be able to, to, to bring a word of hope and assurance and presence to these folks that comes directly from the cross. So that's what we're looking to do. That's great. And, I, and just in it, everyone wants to help. We're getting phone calls. You're getting phone right. calls. Um, what if I want to give you clothes or shoes? Is that a good thing to send? We can't, we can't process that in the district. We don't have a place for them right now, and, and we don't have a way of distrib distributing those things. What's the best thing right now? Is it, is right it? now is prayer and dollars. dollars. Yeah. Those are the two things that are, are the most helpful. Dollars can be converted. That's the, the most flexible gift we have, to be able to use them anywhere that they need to be used in, in, in very quickly. So that's what I would suggest. That's we great. would talk about that, yeah. Thank you so much. God be with you. He is, of course, and uh, we walk with you and alongside you. And um, this church, the Lutheran Church, Missouri Synod, isn't going to abandon Texas. Thank you, Pamela. Thank you. God, blessings.